I also put in a little clear piece of plastic here just to keep rocks and stuff off the front of the engine. I really don't want to like shot peen the front of the engine with uh, gravel I'm kicking up. So I put just put that little plate in there. Uh, that's the only improvement I made to this other than uh, the paint. And I did put a little bolt here just to hold this on. Um, this split collar was holding, but I'm just worried that if I really get a lot of stress on this, it might pull off. So this washer and this bolt keep it from sliding off. Just a little peace of mind type modification. I also finally painted the frame. I had my kids and one of the neighbor kids help me with that. Another change I made is I went to Allen head bolts and just regular washers and some nylock nuts instead of the uh, quarter inch carriage bolt fender washer setup I had before. This is a lot easier to tighten and also the nylocks are a nice touch. Um, up here I had some more clear plastic that I made a, wind, a little uh, windshield with, with my kids. Okay, so the kids are, yeah, hello. Hi. The kids are helping me do the windshield for the sidecar, and what we did was uh, we just traced the drum and then found the middle, and then I went up a little ways, figured out how much higher than the drum I wanted the windshield to be, and just made a big arc. Yep. So we're going to cut out there and there, and then use the old brackets. <laughs> okay, which one of you two is running the uh, jigsaw? Not me. Riker? Jigsaw? No? Okay, Daddy will do it. <laughs> there we go, we've got our uh, windshield in place. Rowan's testing it. Should keep the wind out of her face, but have just enough air to keep her cool. Yep. Work a lot better than the last one, because the last one was like curved around. This one's straight this way, but just tipped back a little bit. So that should work better. To keep the wind. So that should yep. work a lot better than the big floppy uh, Spitfire windshield that I had on here before. Uh, that's really the only changes I've made. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of alignment stuff. Um, oh, I shortened the top links. That's a, a change, I guess. That's for the alignment because I had I had them as short as they could go and they needed to go a little bit shorter. So I was trying to push it out farther with these, but I, I was out of adjustment. So I shortened those top links and painted those. But um, otherwise, it's largely unchanged, just cosmetic stuff. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and put this all together. And I did think about trying to do four up on this bike. Two kids in here and me and my wife on the bike, but I don't know if I'm gonna do that or not. Uh, the interesting thing will be to see if the big bore kit has enough power with factory gearing to haul this thing around. Um, otherwise, I'll put the uh, 47 tooth rear sprocket back on. So let's uh, hook it up and figure it out. So it's all mounted up again. Uh, my smaller brake pedal that I have on now, because I used to have a factory one on there, so it's a little bit hard to get to the, the rear brake, but if I pay attention, I can cover it. Uh, Riker really likes it, don't you, bud? Do you like it? Yeah. 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 So it's the same setup as before. I've just painted it, made little little improvements here and there. And it does fit in the garage and the door will close, so that's always good. You ready to go for a ride? Yeah! All right, I just took my daughter and her friend for about a 13 mile ride. And then I took it out on my own just to see what it could do when I really let it go. Um, it's doing pretty good in the mud. I get yanked around a little bit. Um, I still got to work on the alignment a little bit. It's turning real hard to the left. Um, always wants to pull the right when I'm accelerating. It's kind of normal for a sidecar, but uh, I know I can make it a little better, but I'm running the factory 14 front, 40 rear gearing, and it's just tractoring through mud and all kinds of stuff. So uh, I'm going to go run back up this road again just to see how it handles it. And, uh, Hopefully come out the other side. There's one spot where I just about got stuck, but we made her through. So uh, I think I get a new tire on here. I'll come back to my daughter when it's real muddy and I've actually got some tread and see what it'll do. But uh, got enough ground clearance. I'm going over some pretty rutted two track, you know, getting into some mud. So yeah, that's a fun time. Well, I got stuck. Uh, 
the track width was just the right size and I got wedged so I got to try and like lift the sidecar up out of there and slide the bike over or something. Okay, so the sidecar is now all set up, got the alignment fixed. Uh, the big bore kit makes this way more enjoyable. Um, I could probably go up a few teeth in the back, but I'm nowhere near needing the 47 tooth rear that the 250cc engine needed. Uh, as you can see, I went and got it muddy. I also did some highway with it. Uh, basically, I think it's right if I just have my daughter in the sidecar for weight, because with how much suspension travel this has and how finicky sidecars are with weight, if like I had the neighbor girl in here too with my daughter and that made it a lot heavier on this side which made it act kind of funny but with just my daughter in here it should be fine if I take my son on a ride I'm probably gonna have to throw a bag of softener salt in there um, my little plastic piece on the front here is keeping a lot of the mud off the engine but when you're up to the bottom of the frame in mud it doesn't really matter uh, but yeah I went through, I went through a couple of real deep pockets of mud got out, got stuck in one because it wedged the two tires tight up against where the center of the road was in between the um, vehicle tracks. But it's working real nice. The big bore kit is awesome. It has so much torque. A uh, little tractor engine almost. Just put it in first gear and just chug right along. So I'm very happy with it. Uh, the engine itself and I'm happier now with the sidecar with more power. So um, I'm probably gonna go ahead and just wash it off a little bit. And then uh, we'll have to go on some adventures now. I'm done building stuff.